Hello people, I am Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new video. So in today's video, we are going to learn 8086 programming, assembly programming on the simulator. EMU8086 is the simulator that we are going to use. That is the one that is used in most colleges. The idea is, I want you to be good at doing this on the computer. Yes, I have given you enough programs. You have done lots of programs on the board which will help you in your theory exam. But that is a part. That is bookish knowledge. What about practicals? What about doing it on the computer where it actually matters? Writing it on the board, yeah, how long can you keep doing it? At the end of the day, you call yourself an engineer, a programmer, a coder. If you know how to do this on the computer, how to accept inputs from the user, the role of int 21 how to separate out the ASCII values, how to produce an output, display it on the screen and so on. So starting from now, we are doing these series of videos for the 8086 course where I am going to show you assembly programming done on the simulator. Today's program, we are going to start with add two numbers. In very simple terms, first we will do it without user inputs and outputs just to see how to run a program on the simulator. With that, I am also going to show you, of course, how to install the simulator. It is a free download available on Google. Just type EMU8086, you get it. Three clicks and that is it. It is installed. It is there in your computer. You can start writing programs. As always, with every video, you get a PDF. In that PDF will be all the programs that I am going to do over here with you. So that you can copy those programs from the PDF, enter it on the screen. The first time you are doing it, you can directly copy and paste. There is no problem. There is no harm because you are doing it for the first time. Run the program, check out the values of the variables, you can check out the variables, you can create variables, you can see them, how they work, you can single step, I am going to show you all of that. Now, once you have done that and you have a working program, play with it, enter different numbers, increase the size of variables, see how, change the messages that you can display on the screen and so on. That is your first program. Then. I will show you how to accept an 8-bit number input from the user, how to display a message for the user to enter the number, how to work with 16-bit numbers, what do you do with the ASCII codes. Once you know that, we will do the same program the way they will actually do it in your practical exam where they will ask you to accept the inputs from the user, do your program, display the result on the screen. Are you clear? That's the goal of today's lecture. Once you know how to do this for add, you will be surprised how fast you can move on and do this for subtract, for multiply, for divide, create a menu driven program, find the highest number, sort a series, do palindrome, do block transfers. That's what, that's what 8086 practicals is all about. What do you think? Is doing programs only for those select few? Those 5% students in the class only, they deserve to do programming. You don't. Rubbish. All of you all can code. If you just have the will to do it, no, you don't need months of effort, you don't need weeks of effort. You just need to watch this full video, download the simulator, copy and paste the first program and then from there on start making this your own thing. Own it. Okay. All these videos are there on my website, uh, bharatacharyaeducation.com. As you know, you've been if you've been a part of this channel, you know how it is. I've put on some free videos for introduction of 8086 architecture and things like that. Beyond that, if you want to learn the whole course, come to my website, watch all the videos in detail, enjoy the PDFs, enjoy the Viva PDFs, and there'll be many more videos coming up. I am soon, immediately as soon as I finish this set of videos of assembly programs on the simulator. The next thing that we are going to make is dedicated videos for MCQs because of the whole the way the pandemic has panned out. Uh, most colleges are going to conduct exams in the form of MCQs. So we are going to have these mock exams, MCQ, full MCQ based videos. Of course, all of those will also be available to you on PDF so that you can practice at home. Lots of things going to come. Hope to see you there. Wish you all the best. Do well.